Now, I'm very happy to be joined in the Sky Zone by Cheyenne Woods. Cheyenne, last week, Ladies Scottish Open. It's great to have that Lynx golf preparation ahead of this week, right? It definitely is, and I think that that's why a lot of us come over and play the back-to-back -back weeks. It's nice to not only get used to the time, but also get used to the different golf that a lot of us Americans don't get to see very often. It's a diff totally different style, um, so it's really great to be out here this week. How much is that a nice reset for your game in the Lynx Golf is just a complete departure to what you play week in, week out on the LPGA? It's totally different. It's refreshing. It's mm. exciting. Um, you're forced to hit totally different shots than you normally would week to week. Um, and I think it's fun for us golfers to really force us to be creative and, um, and have fun out here. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. what golf should be all yeah, about. Now, speaking sure. of those different shots that you said you're playing, I think the viewers at home, the ones that they're most excited to see is some of those punch shots and those low drives as well, because yes. in the UK, that's something that we all struggle with, playing in the wind yes, out there, battling definitely. it. Um, definitely. We're going to ask you to demo, first up, a, a low iron punch shot into the wind. Okay. So I would normally use a higher iron, um, five, six iron, but you can really do it with any club. Um, so I have my five iron here, and for me and everybody else, the most important thing is having the ball back in your stance because mm -hmm. it automatically gets that club de-lofted. Um, my tendency in the wind is to swing too fast and swing against and try to fight the wind. So you really want to keep your same tempo. Yep. Um, so I'm going to have the ball back in my stance. The club is going to naturally open a little bit with the hands forward. Okay. And the most important thing is keeping your hands forward through the ball and all the way through to the finish. Yeah. So I'll hit one and then explain. Ball back, hands forward. Perfect. And I think a tendency as well is for to get that draw spin um, because with the, the hands forward, it's easy to turn it over. Yeah, and but you so want to keep those hands leading throughout. Keep the hands leading forward, and to do that, you kind of keep your chest swinging through. That's kind of my, uh, my swing thought when I'm hitting those. Great tip. So. Now, this guy, does he have a name? Yeah, his name's Gabriel, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Gabriel off, okay. hand you the driver. And now, how much does the driver setup differ from that iron setup and wanting to hit a low one? It's a little bit different because you do still need to get the driver up in the air and you want it to carry um, a little bit more than the irons. But you are yep. teeing the ball a little bit lower so you get that low ball flight. Yep. And for me, again, it's about keeping the hands forward a little bit more than normal. Yep. Um, so fairly similar to the irons. Yeah, pretty yeah. similar to the irons. Nice. Show us how it's done. But I think mostly just teeing it a little lower gives you a head start of just keeping it, keeping the ball flight low. Definitely. Well, you yeah. executed it perfectly. Thanks. Some great tips for you at home <laughs> to you. try.